Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today guys, we're going to be doing a different type of video today. As you can see from the title, we're going to be doing a tier list, but not your normal character tier list. We're going to be doing move tier list. Yes, and the first move tier list we're going to be doing is the dare, and if you don't know what a dare is, a dare is a down, uh, air down attack. And let's get straight into the video. Actually, before we get straight into the video, if you do want to make your own tier list and you want to share um, your opinions with me, you know, leave comments down below about it, and also, there will be a link in the description for this tier list so you can make your own so go ahead and do that if you want to while i'm actually doing this tier list and let's get straight into the video guys now the number one oh actually before i get into this um their their tier list i just want to explain my ranking my ranking will be based off of kill power combos and just everything what the move can possibly do for you and set up and etc now let's get straight into the video now the number one dare i'm gonna be putting is Taz's dare and I know a lot of people think Taz isn't a crazy character he's not even a top tier that is fine but we're talking about his dare compared to everybody else this character dare is brutal yes it cannot kill um on stage it does have a little combo game um on stage you know that you can use but uh, where this move shines guys is off stage and it is a true combo into itself yes you heard me a true combo to me. if you ever dare someone on taz off stage do it again and it is when i say a 90 95 percent chance of you just KOing them it is a 90 to 95 percent chance of you KOing them you might make a small delay on attack that makes them a lot of dodge or something if they have no dodge meter if if they don't you know get that one frame to dodge it is a confirmed kill into itself that is why it's gonna be number one number two we're gonna have is jake jake skateboard is so active and have so much priority not only does it have that it is literally i want to say what 15 percent damage and if you add um um collateral that's another 17 percent i think 17 to 18 percent and then if you um add fire i think no i don't think fire works but it does ignite why does it ignite i don't know but it ignites literally dealing up to nearly 20 damage by itself that you could actually combo into other stuff like um your neutral attack um bite there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with this with this move um into itself and not only that it's kind of like Taz's. It's a little bit less percentage. I think it's, I want to say it's about a 75%, 80% chance of you confirming it. But that's still quite really high that you could just kill confirm off stage with this. If you get the first hit, if you don't know, this is a multi-hitting multi uh, move. So, dare one into dare two into dare three. There are um, a higher chance of them dodging if they dodge into it, like upwards into it. You know, they're going to get punished. Uh, the best way to do it is to do a neutral dodge or a dodge to the side. But yeah, this move is pretty much like Taz's um, dare off stage two, and that is why it's gonna be number two on the dare list. Number three is where we're gonna have is Marvin, guys. This move is such a hard skill check move that it's just it, there's just nothing you can do. One, you cannot dodge through it no matter what. You 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 physically cannot. You literally have to go around him if you really want to um pass him. Even then, his body is electrified. So if you touch him, you're also gonna go straight back down. This move is. Kind of like Taz's, but it, but you do have um, counterplay to it. Like I said, for example, when he dares you the first time, the second and third time, you do have time to think, calm down, and play around it. But if you're just gasping like, I need to get up, I, I can't die, you're going to die to, to Marvin's um, down, um, down attack, and it's brutal. It is not crazy on stage. But again, it's just like Taz off stage. It's just, it's just like a kill confirm. It's just like if you get them in that right position, they're just dead. There, there's just nothing they can do, <laughs> and that's why it's gonna be the top number three top dare in the game. Number four is we're gonna have is Finn. Finn's dare is number four, and I probably a lot of people say he should be number one. Da 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 da. I know his dare hitbox is crazy. It hits from above. We know it does this. It combos into itself. Whole bunch of stuff, and it's pretty brutal off stage too. Uh, if I do say it myself. Um, and you know, if, if you know players like Gopo, amazing Finn player, he actually utilizes the, the hitboxes cause he knows it's going to hit that he actually does crazy combos with that there, which makes it so brutal, but I just can't put him ahead of kill confirmed dares that are like guaranteed, um, kills versus, you know, a kid with a sword. I'm sorry, but he will be top four. He will, he will technically be your number one, um, dare. Um, in the game if these other characters didn't really have true confirms off stage 
Next, we are gonna have is Shaggy. This dare is the best air stall in the game. This dare hits everywhere from behind, up top, bottom. This dare is god tier online. And for the people that play online, you know what I'm talking about. This dare is just everything. Beautiful for comboing into itself. Two a little bit into Nair. A lot of combo games with this um, with this move is just it's brutal. It, it, we can all confirm this move is brutal. Next we have is Velma. Velma Dare isn't even crazy, but it does have nice combo game. You know, two to three. I want to say it's like three. It's about three hits with camera, three to four hits, and you can probably build up to 30 damage, which is really amazing. Amazing air stalling, and it's kind of in the same category of Taz, Jake, and them, but it's not as true as them so that is why it's a little bit lower but her dare is chargeable so that means the longer you charge it the harder it hits and then again you could bait people you can act like you're gonna dare and just wait for them to dodge and then dare and then pretty much get the free hit this move is a very very strong move and then the final one that we have for the god tier list of dares is <gasps> bugs guys i i don't know they they gotta figure out this hitbox um I'm showing gameplay right now, but I'm gonna show you a clip from from Bugs. I got in it recently. If y'all do enjoy these um tier lists, I would definitely start. You know, when I bring up the character, you know, actually show gameplay of why you know I say this and the reason. But yeah, Bugs, this guy's hitbox. I I don't know, bro. Even offline, it I, it it just don't make sense, man. Like, are you watching the clip? Like, it it just don't make sense, bro. I'm just I'm just over the character, bro. I'm, I'm just over it. But. This dare is beautiful, and not only that, it, it um, combos a little bit better now, because, well, it doesn't combo better, but it still combos greatly off stage, because now it doesn't go straight down, it goes sideways, so if you do it properly, and they DI, they just bounce into the wall, and you can just dare them again, bounce them into the wall, and it, it's, it's pretty brutal, it, it's brutal, okay, it's brutal. <laughs> But going on to our S tier, starting off off with our S tier, it's gonna be Rain Dog. Rain Dog there is pretty brutal. It is hit from top to bottom. It is disgusting. Again, it's just like Velma. It does a full charge. A little weaker um than Velma's, but it, it is pretty brutal. Easy combo into the roly for his side attack. It, it's it's a nice move. Next we have is Batman. Batman there hits from above. It combos. It does a lot. Um, the only reason why I'm putting him this low is just for the fact that it kind of does have a startup. So if you attack him instantly when he's doing it, he's not winning it. But if you're the type to like watch and then try to dodge late, you, you will get scooped up by this move, and it's pretty brutal. Um, and it's disgusting off stage too. <laughs> Next we have is Morty. Yes, this there is so brutal. And again, it's like Batman. It has like a weird delay where it, you sometimes you will dodge early and it will catch you off that dodge. And that is why it's going to be S tier. Also has this Sear Dare combo. Pretty nice. Good move. Not God tier, but pretty good. Next we have is Arya. Arya there has so much priority for no reason. You're able to fly with it. It is it's just a brutal move. You, if, if you haven't seen an Arya not fly with her dare, that is not a good Arya. <laughs> Next we have is Harley's dare. Yes, Harley dare is pretty brutal. Even though it's just a small projectile, the fact that she can air stall with it, the fact that she could combo into itself with the move, the, com the fact that it's a, it's, a, it's a projectile so it could angle itself. So even though you could read it, she could angle it to where it hits you. If you try to go above her, she can literally just stand still, angle it to the right side if you're coming from the left. Even though you hit her, if she literally sat there, it could bounce off the ground and come back and hit you and, you know, put her back into advantage. And it and again, beautiful combo. I almost forgot about these characters, but it also brings into a um, beautiful combo game. Exactly like Arya, her dare into back to um, up special, into neutral attack, all that stuff. Amazing. So, same with Harley. Into her Sair, into her grounded attack, into Hammer. Like, that's a good 40% combo right there. Amazing. Um, and then final person we have in our S tier will be Rick. Yes, Rick move is so brutal. And again, it's like it's it's another weird move like Jake. It does 15 damage. Why? And then it ground bounce. Well, I mean, all their ground bounces. Let me not say that. But it does 15 damage and it ignites. Why is it igniting? Let the move... <laughs> Not ignite. Now nah, it makes sense, you know. It's rocket shoes, but goddamn, bro. If, if you're gonna do that, you gotta make it do less damage, bro. It's so brutal. And then not only that, it's a great um combo um after portal hitting. Like after you get them to the portal, you go into that, and then you do your you know Rick combos. And then not only that, 
I really want to put this in the, in the god tier, but technically it's not the it's not the move. It's that you bait the move. So pretty much if someone's off stage, you go for the dare and you miss. It's okay. Guess what you're gonna do? You're just gonna up special. Again, that's why it's gonna be in the low S tier. It should definitely be a god tier, but because that up special isn't or they both not the same move, I just can't put it any higher. But it will be finished off in the S tier. Next we have is LeBron. Yeah, I know there's a couple of the characters that I definitely should have put above. But the only reason why I'm putting Le LeBron here is because I also forgot that LeBron has two um, down attacks. He has this move and the one without the ball. The one without the ball is the reason why he's higher. He should be even probably higher because that knockback on that move is pretty brutal. And then again, people gasp after you know getting almost down, like getting KO'd. So guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna dodge upwards, and then you can finish it off with this nice subtle down attack move because now you have a basketball and not only that this move is amazing for the combo if you don't know down attack into side special or down attack into down attack uh down air down attack into down attack into double jab into nair or basketball or layup there's a lot of things this move could start up and it is pretty brutal but that is why it is in the high a tier next we have is wonder woman's dare if you haven't seen players like key um sandstorm the cat and others this dare is just so fast and active. It isn't too crazy, but the fact that it's just so active and fast is what makes it brutal. And then the combos that you could get off with if you um, do it properly on uh, platform stages is amazing. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty good move. And like I said, very active and good for air stalling. Next we have is Steven. Steven dare isn't too brutal when it comes to like, I guess, range wise. But when you get this dare off, not only it's... I don't think it's a kill confirm like 100% but um, down down special into down attack off stage is pretty almost true I, I think I could get some clips from I think Troco and he has some pretty <laughs> it, it seemed pretty true but I'm pretty sure there's like windows that you could dodge out of it but not only that this there also could be bounced into like on stage into his shield if you don't know what his shield is is his neutral button when you press your neutral button and you have your shield can pop out yes this character and it bounces off up to like I think 25 to 30 percent so you could get off a pretty free 30 percent damage off of one there yeah that is why he's up here he should probably be higher but these other characters are just way more brutal than him I'm sorry I have to, I have to. next we have is Tom and Jerry he kind of he kind of was like bugs he finally got neutered <laughs> he's definitely more easier to deal with you know bugs need to get down there with him but yeah um Nothing too crazy about it. Still really good. Super solid. Um, great for off stage, you know. A hard hitter, like knockback wise, and that is why he is there. Next we have is Gizmo. Gizmo's down here because he doesn't have too much um thing, but it is a uh, still very strong move. He has down special into down attack combos that is nearly true to itself. Three times, uh, three times, yeah, three times. Um, unless the player knows how to di properly. Um, and also a great, great bait and move off stage when people are on ledge because you could charge it. So again, it's just like Velma where you could you could charge it and then you know bait people into it. But the only reason why it's so down here and not up there with Velma is that the knockback not so strong and that is why it's down here. Um, next we have is Stripes Dare. I know Pop Pop is probably saying, yeah, right, this dare is so brutal, it's so big, da da da. -da. This dare is so slow that it's just not worth putting any higher. I will say it is pretty brutal when you do your gun combo that you do, that I've done many times. That could build up to 20%, 20, 25% um, per time if you do it correctly, which could equal to you have three bullets. If you do it properly, that is 75% in one combo. Um, but other than that, it's not too crazy, but it is brutal. Off stage, again, if you um, do it properly and you have bullets, again, kill. But again, we're not basing it off of certain moves we're basing it with the move so compared to everybody else i don't think it's that brutal still um next we have is superman superman it is like a very very stubby move but still solid still good to use that is why it's here and also has a decent on stage combo game it's very hard to do but if you've seen players like zay bucket and um anthos you could definitely see it um happen many times when you do their 1v1s and yeah that is why it's there next we have is garnet um, Garnet there definitely got a little bit better. Still not that viable, but definitely has a little combo game and very strong off stage. Um, if you do hit it, but if you don't hit it, then you're kind of just screwed. But if you hit it, you know, it has that knockback. It's like Tom and Jerry. It has that knockback. Um, and then finally, we're going to end it off with Iron Jai. I could be totally wrong about this, but I never felt it, that it was this that strong compared to everybody else. Still a great move. Still ignites fire and stuff. And I think it, it 
combos into neutral attack which is the you know when he does the spinny uh, robot legs but yeah compared to everybody else I'm, I'm gonna have to give him the last spot i'm sorry and then this i kind of messed up i i added a picture didn't you know fit the size and then yeah that's why okay yeah but that is it for the video guys hopefully you did enjoy this video like i said if y'all do enjoy it i will put more effort into it where like i said where i could show off the moves better and explain why or right, show a video while i'm explaining why this character is this and that with their move set and stuff but yeah leave a like if you like the video comment about anything again if you enjoyed this make your own tier list i would love to see it share it with me um on twitter and stuff man my twitter is the same as my um, youtube channel and yeah and if it's your first time ever watching my videos and you did enjoy it once more again hit the subscribe button guys because i post every other day and i post clips daily and i'm out guys peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la cause she wanna be famous got a nine to five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find